Well, hello, and welcome to the third session of the Mighty, Magnificent Monarch Butterfly. And so we've learned a few things about the Monarch Butterfly, and if you had a chance to listen to the story, my oh my, it's a butterfly, you learned a lot more about the Monarch Butterfly. And so we know that the monarch butterfly is symmetrical. And that means that one side is a mirror image of the other. But today, we're gonna forget all about being symmetrical and we're gonna be our own wacky creators of our fantasy butterflies that can look any way we want them to look, but one thing for sure is that we want them to be asymmetrical. Asymmetrical means that well, this would be asymmetrical because the two sides of the butterfly don't look the same. Or it could be asymmetrical just because we chose our colors and we mixed it all up together and we put some bling on it and our butterfly is not symmetrical it's asymmetrical so let's start off we need a butterfly so let's just use one side, oops, let's turn our screen down so you can see what's going on down here. I think you can see it. So we're gonna work on a sheet of watercolor paper today. And it has some texture to it. It's almost like it's, it's perfect for uh, the paint to really grab a hole and settle into the paper. So I'm gonna use this as a template. And let's outline ourselves a mighty, magnificent monarch butterfly. Oh, I wish, I wish I were a butterfly. They are so pleasing to the eye. La da 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 da. Left wing looks like the right wing. The right wing looks like the left wing. I wish I wish I were a butterfly. But if I am an asymmetrical butterfly, my two sides are not going to be matching. Wish I wish I were a butterfly. They are so pleasing to the eye. <laughs> Even if the left doesn't look like the right, it'll still be magnificent. Cause we're gonna make a asymmetrical butterfly. So We've got to think about mixing some colors, and we have our gel pens back today. So we know that when we mixed some red and some yellow, that we were able to come up with what? We came up with some orange. That's how we discovered our orange. And it's always a good idea to start with a little, because we can always add more color in, but it's difficult to take color out. So let's do some other mixing. Let's just explore. Maybe if we have some, let's see, are we in the screen? Really can't tell where we are. Where is our butterfly? So, let's mix some other colors and see what we can discover. Where are we? 
let's try this space up here. So here is some yellow. Let's see what happens if we add some blue. What do you think is going to happen? Oh, there's green. What if we started with some blue and added some... How about adding some red? Oh, where did our red marker go? There it is. Let's add some red. Hmm. Blue and red. Is that going to look kind of dark? Purple-ish. Maybe. Or maybe we use... Let's see if we use just a little bit. what we come up with. I don't know about that one. So what other colors do we have? So if we have some green. I'll make sure you can see these in just a little bit. If we have some green and what else could we mix with it? I think we've used our primary colors, our red, yellow, and our blue. What happens if we have some, some blue and some green that makes it really dark? Color. So, what happens if we mix something with black? Let's start with a little black because black's pretty strong. <clears throat> and here's our orange, which really is like adding some red and some yellow. Hmm. I know that it made a lot of difference. It really didn't mix very well. So I think you have the idea that just experiment with mixing some colors with other colors and see what you might come up with. That's a little challenge if we mix something else with our yellow, if we still have some red on it because it's certainly making orange again. There's some green. Well, so we want to think about how we want to design our asymmetrical butterfly. Well, I'm going to begin with just kind of outlining. So let's just make sure we can see this guy really stick it out. And I'm not going to worry so much about the edges because I'm going to cut him out. And so I'll be able to smooth it out. So just going to make sure he stands out. Do 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 
ドゥルトゥドゥトゥルルルルトゥルトゥドゥトゥルルンドゥルトゥルルトゥルトゥルトゥトゥトゥプチプチプチプチプチプチプチプチプチプチプチプチプチプチドゥルトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥドゥルトゥトゥルトゥトゥルルルトゥルトゥルトゥトゥルトゥトゥルトゥトゥルトゥトゥトゥルトゥルトゥトゥルトゥトゥトゥルトゥトゥトゥルトゥルトゥルトゥトゥルトゥルンパパパルトゥルルトゥルトゥトゥパトゥプチプチプチトゥルトゥトゥトゥルトゥトゥトゥルトゥルルトゥトゥルドゥルドゥルプープープープドゥプチドゥドゥルドゥルンパパパドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥルドゥチチドゥドゥドゥルドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥルドゥルドゥドゥドゥ Do 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 Well, that certainly is not a symmetrical design at all. Oh, you know what I forgot? To remember that a butterfly has some antenna. They kind of help him find his way and then. There's how he sucks in his straw to bring in the nectar. Okay? Now, what else could we do to our asymmetrical one of a kind butterfly? I guess he wants to see where he's going. Now let's just go around. Ba ba. Ba 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 da. Ba da ba 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 da. Do bo 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 bo. Do 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 do. And so there you have my wacky asymmetrical butterfly.
Let's see. Do we have anything else to add to our butterfly? Surely there's some bling around here somewhere. Well, here's some stars. Yellow. Here's a green. Oh, there's an orange. Let's put another orange over here. And there's another yellow. Blue. And purple. That really is my favorite color, is purple. More green ones. Well, that adds a little bling. And of course, I'll keep on adding bling until I'm satisfied. So, what did we see? We started off talking about how butterflies are symmetrical. And that design is symmetrical. And this design is symmetrical. But if we change one side, then it's a new butterfly, and it will not be symmetrical. With my young friends, I have them use the, the crayons, and I just let them paint abstractly. And the only thing I ask is, let's try to cover all of the white spaces. And they did a pretty pretty good job and then I laid down the butterfly and used it as a template and traced it and when we turned it over there was our butterfly shape and then we could add whatever bling we wanted to and so we can tell by the colors that this is a monarch butterfly. And if we did something like that, wow, that would really be different. Can you see? Oh, I wish, I wish I were a butterfly. They are so Pleasing to the eye. The left wing looks like the right wing. The right wing looks like the left wing. I wish, I wish I were a butterfly. Goodbye.